Marvel has their own Batman and nobody told me? Hey, it's Jug. And yeah, you heard me right. Marvel has their own version of Batman. Marvel and DC are basically known for copying each other. I mean, you could probably name like 10 superheroes off the top of your head who have the same power set, abilities, similar costumes, or basically the same gimmick. They're basically the same guy. But with most of the ripoffs, the big two companies try to hide the fact that they're ripping off the other one just a little bit. That didn't happen with Marvel's Batman and he absolutely flopped. But anyway, let's get into it. Who in the world is Marvel's Batman and how exactly did he come to be? Well, in the early 2000s, Marvel was launching their brand new Ultimate line of comics, which was basically a whole new line of comics set in a whole new universe where Marvel writers could experiment and take risks with some of the biggest well-known characters and some of the least well-known. The most iconic character from this new universe was, of course, Ultimate Spider-Man, who Marvel was thrilled that they could experiment with. But although they experienced success with Ultimate Spider-Man, they may have gotten a little cocky. It seems that since Marvel saw they could experiment with Spider-Man, they thought that they could experiment with the other most popular character and create their own Batman. So the creative team of Ron Zimmerman and Duncan Figretto was hired on and the legendary Hawkman was born. Wait, not Hawkman, Owlman? No, not Owlman either. The iconic name for Marvel's Batman would be Hawk Owl. Hawk to it. Now when I say that this is one of the most forgettable superhero names I've ever heard of, I mean that I was literally writing the script for this video and I was trying to write the name of the character Hawk Owl into the script and I wrote the wrong name. I don't know who at Marvel thought that giving their iconic Batman character the name Hawk Owl was a good idea, but this is only one of the many, many flaws of Hawk Owl. So, what's his story? Hawk Owl, aka Jack Danner, grew up in Chicago, the son of a privileged family, but he experienced loss at a very young age due to his family members dying of mysterious causes, specifically a gardening accident and a mysterious drunk driving accident. This led to Jack Danner becoming an orphan and being forced to live with his aunt, who adopted him and also adopted his best friend for some reason. The boys remained at Jack's parents' manor where they grew up and ran wild basically, until she gave the groundskeeper, Queechi, permission to teach the boys discipline. From Queechi, the boys learned martial arts and matured into responsible young men. But at the tournament, Jack saw a hawk attack an owl, so he stepped in to defend it, injuring himself in the process. Queechi would interpret this moment as a curse and a gift for Jack, saying that Jack had now become the hawk and the owl. After the boys graduated, they would attend the military for further training and then go around the world learning different forms of martial arts. However, when Jack discovered how bad the crime in Chicago had become, he decided to use his skills to battle crime and don the mantle of Hawk Owl. Once Jack had become Hawk Owl, he decided what he really needed was a sidekick. So he decided to go to the orphanage to find a boy to adopt. The boy he ended up adopting was Hank Kipple. Hank was a brash, assertive, and very obnoxious kid, but Jack believed that Hank showed potential. And almost immediately, Hank figured out that Jack was Hawk Owl because when he was going back to the manor, he happened to see the Hawk Owl flying car thing fly past him into the Hawk Owl hideout known as The Nest. The nest is like the bat cave, but instead of being a cave underground hidden, it's actually on top of Jack's manor. After discovering Jack's secret, Hank was chosen to be his sidekick, which I thought was the whole point of adopting Hank in the first place, but whatever, Hank's his sidekick now. I guess word got out about Hawk Owl's antics because Jack was eventually approached by the Ultimates, which is the Ultimate Universe version of the Avengers, to join the team. After insulting everyone and even physically fighting Captain America, Jack respectfully declined, saying that his fight was in Chicago. During this whole time, Hank has been training to become Hawk Owl's sidekick, but after his training is complete, Hank donned his own mantle and became Woody! <gasps> Possibly the worst name in the history of sidekick or superhero names. I get it's a reference to Dick Grayson, Batman's first Robin, but Dick is an abbreviation for his full name, Richard, 
and that's literally his name? Why is this kid calling himself Woody? Anyway, Hawk Owl and Woody's first mission ended up being the non-dynamic duo stopping the mugging of a family that was leaving the Mask of Zorro. So basically, they stopped Batman's origin, and now the Ultimate Universe is stuck with Hawk Owl and Woody. Anyway, as I'm sure you can tell, Hawk Owl and Woody's adventures did not garner a ton of readers, so the comic was quickly cancelled. They also never appeared in the Ultimate Universe again, but I have hope that Hawk Owl and Woody are still out there, keeping the streets of Chicago safe. But what do you think of Marvel's Batman? Let me know in the comments below, and Thanks for watching.